Hi guys, I hope that you're having a fabulous day. Welcome back to my channel. I've been getting a lot of questions on some of the newest handbag releases, what my thoughts are, so I thought I would put them all in one video, a dedicated video, and at the same time, do a love it or leave it. It's been ages since I have filmed a love it or leave it video, so I thought it would be fun to do that. But that's what I got going on for you today. I hope that you enjoy it. If you do, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get this show on the road, shall we? All right, so let's kick this off with a bag from Chanel. Now this bag has caused quite a buzz from the fashion house and I of course am talking about the Kelly bag. Now the Kelly bag if I'm not mistaken is available in two different sizes. Uh, the larger of the two, the larger of the two comes in at 4400 and the smaller comes in at 3000. Now this is a revamped version if you will of the Chanel Kelly bag because the Kelly bag the OG was released in the late 80s early 90s if I'm not mistaken and I'm a huge fan of the OG Chanel Kelly. I think it's gorgeous, very simple, very structured. I've only seen it in caviar leather. I'm not sure if it was available in other leathers or not, but the caviar version is beyond stunning. So huge fan. And when I heard that they were gonna re-release the Kelly bag, I was like, I was pumped, I was super stoked. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So upon seeing pictures of, uh, of the new Kelly bag, I like it. I do like it. I think it's very cute. I think it's very beautiful. It really has those strong vintage vibes coming through. Absolutely. Uh, but there are a couple of things that I'm not too fond of. Number one, the leather. According to the website, it is the shiny age calfskin. Now I like age calfskin. I think it's great. Shiny age calfskin, I'm not too fond of. Just because in my opinion, I feel like it kind of... <sighs> <laughs> it kind of cheapens the bag. Yes, you have, again, those vintage vibes, but I also think that it cheapens the bag a little a little more than I would like. I think that had it been in maybe lambskin leather or even caviar leather or just aged calfskin, that would have been a better way to go. But yeah, the shiny, the shininess that it has, I'm not... Um, I'm not too crazy. Yeah, I, I, yeah no, <laughs> I don't like that. Uh, now, another thing, the handle. The handle is... It's pretty large considering how small the bag is. So sometimes I find myself looking at it, I'm like, oh, I, I like it, I like it. But then I can't really put my finger on it that there's something that looks a little off until I realize it's the handle. The handle is just a little too thick, it's a little too chunky for how small the bag is. Maybe if it was a little bit thinner or if it was a like a stationary chain or what have you, maybe that would have been different, like a, a handle chain or whatever, that would have been better. But I don't know, I'm not crazy about about how thick that handle is. Uh, of course, it does come with a chain. The chain is not removable and it is not adjustable. Uh, and it is a mini bag, but at the same time, just like with any other mini bag, it doesn't just fit a little Tic Tac. It fits a lot more than you might think. Uh, so I do like that. It's just, and I don't think it has like a ridiculous price point either, considering number one, it's Chanel, and number two, it's a mini, a mini Kelly or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so again, I don't think it has like this ridiculously obscene, just like, ah, oh, I can't believe it type of price point for the bag that it is. Uh, I think it's really, really cute. But the way that it stands now, and it is available in a variety of different colors, I do believe that as the seasons go by, they're gonna release more and more colors. Uh, the way that it stands now, for me, love it or leave it, I'm gonna leave it. Now, if they release it in lambskin leather, I might be in trouble. Or maybe even if they add like a detachable chain, I might be in trouble. But for now, my wallet is safe. What about you guys? Next up is the Fendi Origami. Now the Fendi Origami is available in three sizes. The mini, which comes in at 1850, the medium that comes in at 2850, and the large that comes in at 3100 here in the States. You can go for it in fabric or you can go for it in leather. And regardless of the material that you go for, they're gonna be the same price. If you go for the large leather, it's gonna be 3100. If you go for the large fabric, it's gonna be 3100. I love that Fendi does that. And I really wish that all fashion houses did that, but of of course they don't. Now the origami, I love this bag, all right? Right off the bat, I love this bag. I think it's a really fun spin on a tote. The fact that you can transform it with the hidden uh, magnets that it has at the top, I think is really great. 
So that way, if you wanted to make it more of a larger tote, if you wanted to make it more of a bucket style, you have that option. You can hand carry it, you could put it on your shoulder. I think that this is such a great little tote. Of course, you guys know I'm a huge tote girl. That's my favorite style of bag. So again, when I saw this, I was like, this, this is fun, this is really fun. And I also don't think that it breaks the bank when it comes to the price point. I love the mini, I love the large, uh, I love the medium, I love, I love them all, to be completely honest with you. I like them. I like it in fabric and I love it in leather as well. Uh, if I was to go for one or the other, I'd probably go for the fabric in the medium, but um, I don't know, man. <laughs> I, I think that it's such a great bag. And again, it doesn't have a ridiculous price point. The fact that you can transform it for whatever your needs are, or if you just want it to be a larger tote, you have that option. The leather on the uh, the leather on the the larger one, or even the medium, the leather looks amazing. So soft, so supple. Uh, so I'm just I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a huge, huge fan. So for me, love it or leave it. Absolutely love it. I love the colors that it's available in for leather as well. But um, yeah, <laughs> I am a fan. Fendi for me has quickly become one of my favorite fashion houses as well. I think I've, I mean, I've always appreciated them, but I feel like there's so many styles that are constantly coming out that I am so intrigued by. And maybe it's because they're not, they're not just simple bags. You know what I mean? They're, they kind of have a little bit more, a little bit more, oomph, a little bit more, I guess my personality. I don't know. But anyways, I digress. So again, love it or leave it for me. Love it. What about you? Next up, the newest Prada bag. Now this bag is available in two different sizes. In leather, you can go for it in the mini size, which comes in at $2450, or the regular size, which comes in at $2700. It's also available in the regular size in nylon, which comes in at $2350 here in the States. Now when I first saw pictures of this bag, I was like, all right, this is kind of cute, especially because I have a newfound appreciation, a newfound love for these crescent moon bags because of my fendigraphy. So I was like, okay, I'm kind of digging this. Out of the ones that you can go for, from me personally, I like it in the regular size in leather. I really like the colors of leather that they have available as well. Uh, another thing that I appreciate about this bag is that it comes with two removable and two adjustable straps. One for a short one for a shorter shoulder strap, try saying that 10 times fast, and a longer one for crossbody or for a longer shoulder strap. My God. So I do like that. I like that you can play around with it and, and wear it various ways. The one thing that I'm kind of fuzzy on, and I could be wrong, uh, is if you were to attach the crossbody strap to the shorter strap, uh, it looks like you attach it a little bit higher up on that strap, uh, and it kind of looks a little funky. It looks a little, what? What's going on? I've never seen a bag do that before. I was like, what? What's going on here? It's it's kind of it looks a little weird. Like usually you see the longer uh the longer crossbody straps or what have you attached to the bottom of that strap or to the sides of the bag. Uh so to see it a little bit higher up on that on that strap, it looks a little funky. I don't, I don't know if I like it, but I don't think it has a ridiculous price point either. Again, the uh, the regular size comes in at 2700 and the mini size is really cute as well but i just i like the the regular size a lot more but yeah it's it's a really fun bag it's a really I don't know. It's it's kind of it's kind of cute. It's kind you know doesn't have like this again this this stupid price point, uh, and I really like the leather that it has as well. So for me personally, love it or leave it. I'm kind of 50-50 to be completely honest with you, but I would love to know what you guys think. Love it or leave it. Next up is the Gucci Horsebit Chain Shoulder Bag. This bag is available in two different sizes. You can go for it in small or medium. You can go for it in fabric or leather. So they went back into the archives for this bag because obviously they have the Maxi Horsebit, which was very popular in the early 2000s. It's very, I mean, it's a, it's a signature to the fashion house, right? Uh, for me personally, I'm not fond of this bag. I mean, I like the fact that it really does have those, uh, those 2000 vibes to it. So that I absolutely love. It's just the, the, the length that it has. It's so insanely long. It seems like it's very narrow. And I just think that it might be a little bit funky 
to fit your items in there and they might just kind of get jumbled or there might be a lot of lumps and bumps. I could be completely wrong and if you guys have this bag, let us know in the comment section down below. I think that the leather one obviously would have a little bit more give than the fabric or maybe vice versa, I don't know. Uh, but it just looks a little, <laughs> I, lo I don't know man, it looks like a piece of bread. Like it looks like a loaf of bread that someone's carrying on their shoulder with a chain attached to it. You know, it's like I said, I really like like the fact that it has those 2000 vibes to it. I'm a huge fan of uh, of the Gucci bags back then, but it's just the length. <laughs> the length is little just I don't I don't know. It I could be completely wrong. I might walk into the Gucci boutique today and be like, "Oh my god, I love this bag." But as far as what I've seen online, yeah, I'm not really <laughs> I'm not really digging it. I appreciate what it brings to the table, but um I don't know. No. Maybe if it was a little bit smaller, if it was a little bit thicker, I, maybe then I'd be a little bit more inclined to be like, "Yes, go for it." But for me, between love it or leave it, I'm going to leave it. I'm gonna leave it for now. I'm gonna leave it because you guys know, you guys know how I am. Sometimes, um, you know, like months later, I'll be like, oh my God, where has this bag been all of my life? In true mini fashion. I don't know, but uh, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on this bag. Now, the next bag, I am super late to the party because it was released a few months ago. And I, of course, am talking about the Louis Vuitton Sack Sport. So the Sack Sport is available in the Empreinte leather. It's available in a variety of different colors, and it comes in at $27.20 here in the States. Uh, so this bag, for me personally, uh, I think it's kind of boring, to be completely honest with you. Uh, I do like the fact that it does come with a adjustable shoulder strap, and I really like the fact that it comes with a little removable pouch. I think that's a really nice uh, detail. I'm not too fond of the fact that it has a, uh, a key bell. I'm not too fond of the fact that it comes with a lock either. Sometimes I feel like the locks, they overdo it because I feel like it's kind of the same thing with the, the luggage tags. I'm a fan of luggage tags, but I don't want to see on every single new bag that they release. You know what I mean? So I feel like they've been doing that a lot with uh, with the locks. Uh, but I just think it's kind of, it's just kind of meh. It's just kind of there. It doesn't have a crazy, crazy price point considering it is the Empreinte leather and it looks like it's very spacious. It looks like it's very comfortable. So I'm not trying to take anything away from that. But yeah, I'm just kind of like, meh. I, I, I really couldn't care less for it. I think that between the uh, the Sack Sport or going for the carry-all in the PM size, I think that would be a better option just because and it is a little bit more expensive as far as the carry-all it uh, goes, but I think it has more details that are a little bit more appealing and they kind of stand out a little bit more, but not too much versus this one. This one just looks kind of like, yeah, it doesn't really have anything. So love it or leave it for me, I'm going to leave it. Now, since I'm a huge fan of the Lueve Fashion House, I've been getting a lot of questions for my thoughts on their newest release, which is the squeeze bag. So the squeeze bag is available in two different sizes. You can go for it in the small size, which comes in at $39.50 here in the States. You can go for it in the medium size, which comes in at $44.50 here in the States. It's available in a variety of different colors, and it does feature the beautiful Napa lambskin. Now, just because I like a fashion house, it doesn't mean that it's going to cloud my judgment with what it brings to the table. So when I first saw pictures of the squeeze bag, I was like, what, what is going on? <laughs> what is going on? There are some things that I like about it, but for the most part, I'm not a fan. I am not a fan. I love the fact that it has the Napa lambskin leather because their lambskin, their leather is beyond words. I've said this many times. I love uh, the fact that it has the donut chain. I like the fact that it has a little addition for the squeeze, if you will, uh, or the fact that it also comes with a little uh, chain to give it a little bit more a little bit more oomph. I love all that. I like how spacious it is, whether it is the small or the medium. The medium, though, is pretty massive. But again, I love big bags, so I am all for it. What I don't like about this bag is the rouging that it has for the opening. I think it's just a little too much. And I think it makes the bag look like... I don't even know. I, I can't even put it into words. It just looks a little a little, a little much. If it was just like an open, an open bag without the rouging, without all that scrunchiness, I think it would have looked a thousand times better. Again, I'm not a designer, so what the hell do I know, right? But it just, I think it looks a little too, a little too busy. It makes it look a little like it's like, it, like too much. 
there's there's too much going on and i think for me it's kind of an eyesore i say this now without having seen the bag in real life kind of like what i just mentioned about the gucci who knows i might walk into the web and be like oh my god this bag is fabulous i have to have it i have no idea i don't think it has the craziest price point out there considering what you get and the size of bag that you're getting as well because the size i think is fabulous be it the small or the medium as i stated before so for me love it or leave it as of right now i'm gonna leave it I'm going to leave it. Now, the next bag is a reinterpretation of an original, and I am talking about the Dior Lady 9522. So the Lady 9522 is available in a few different sizes. And from what I have seen, because if you go online, you can't really get pricing for them. But from what I have seen, the small comes in at either 6800 or 6900 and the large version comes in at $7,200 here in the States. It's available in two colors that I know of. I could be wrong. Uh, it's available in white as well as black. Uh, and that's really all I know about it. As I mentioned, this is a reinterpretation of the original, the original being the Lady Dior. Now, I've always appreciated and I've always been fond of the Lady Dior. That bag has been on my wish list for, it seems like, 100 years. I've never pulled the trigger on it, but I have always appreciated what that bag brings to the table. Now with this one, I love what they did with this bag. I absolutely love it. They revamped it in such a fantastic way. They modernized it in such a great way while not taking away from the original. I think that is fabulous, like beyond fabulous. And I really wish that some fashion houses would do that instead of modernizing everything and kind of adding shock value to a bag, just kind of go back into the archives, kind of go back into what made that house so popular, so famous, and just kind of go from there without losing sight of the original. And I think that they did this beyond, beyond fabulous beyond fabulous. Now with this bag, like I said before, you can't get it online. It's available in select uh, boutiques and I do believe you have to go through your sales associate. If I'm not mistaken, please don't quote me on it. Uh, but I, I absolutely love it. Love it or leave it. Love, 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 love it. The price point is insane. I mean, <laughs> let's be honest because I love the larger version. What did I say? It comes in at 7,200 or something along those lines. Uh, so it is pricey, but I think it is absolutely gorgeous. I like that it's a little bit more user-friendly than the regular Lady Dior. I like that it's a little bit more open without it being too open either. It's not too... It's not too slouchy. It still has that beautiful structure. It still has those beautiful charms, that beautiful hardware that Dior is known for. And I'm a huge fan of the, the handle, the fact that they wrapped it partially with leather and just the, the intricate details that it has that are so similar to the original. But again, they modernized it in such a beautiful way that this bag is timeless. I think it's going to be timeless. And I think it's going to be just as popular, if not more, than the Lady Dior. Maybe not more, because the Lady Dior is a classic. It's a staple to the house. But this is, this is just chef's kiss, a work of art, in my opinion. I just, I think it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the thicker strap that it comes with. I like the fact that you can see everything at a glance uh, without it being too open again, as I mentioned previously. So huge, Huge, huge fan. Love it or leave it. Love, 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 love all the way home when it comes to the Lady uh, 9522. What about you guys? Have you purchased this bag? If you have, let us know in the comment section down below and let us know how much you are loving it. Now, the last bag that I wanted to highlight is the Celine newspaper bag in the supple calfskin. This bag is available in two different colors. You can go for it in chestnut or black, and it comes in at $32.50 here in the States. This bag has become incredibly popular, especially on social media. A lot of people love it. They say that it's very comfortable. Uh, and I think that's great to each their own. For me personally, it really doesn't do anything for me. It really doesn't. I mean, I love Celine's, uh, Celine's leathers. I think that they're amazing, especially their supple calfskin. I think it's great. Uh, but it's kind of, it's kind of mediocre. It doesn't really do anything for me. And to be completely honest with you, it kind of looks like an afterthought. And that might seem like it's a little too harsh, but it seems like they just use remnants from another bag and they just added their hardware and they called it a newspaper bag. I don't know. I mean, call me crazy. 
Again, I'm not trying to take anything away from it, but it doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't really spark my interest. Um, the fact that it comes with a sliding chain, I don't know if I love that or if that would drive me nuts. Like if it would move around too much, I don't think so. Uh, but the sliding chain is kind of a cool detail. Again, I don't know if it would drive me nuts or not. And it does have a lambskin lining if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but it's just, I don't know, it's just kind of there. I do think it has a ridiculous price point for what it is. Again, Celine has stunning, gorgeous leather and I'm not trying to take anything away from it, but $32.50 for a bag that just looks like some leather scrub Perhaps. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm definitely not uh, not digging that. There are so many other uh, fabulous Celine bags, in my opinion, that are even a little bit less expensive or right around the same price point that in that I think offer a lot more than this bag. Maybe if they would have added a leather strap instead of a chain, I can't believe I'm saying that, right? Because you guys know how I feel about chains. Uh, but if they added a leather strap to it instead of the chain or maybe with the chain, maybe that would give it a little bit more detail and it would make it stand out a little bit more instead of it just being a boring leather bag with some gold hardware. I don't know, I call me crazy, I could be wrong. But um, love it or leave it, leave it. All right, you guys, so that does it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I would love to hear your thoughts on the bags that we discussed today. Are you a fan of them? Are you not a fan? Would you love them? Would you leave them? Whatever the case may be, let us know in the comment section down below, and if you love the bag, then go for it. That's all that matters. Who the hell cares what anybody thinks? As long as it makes you happy, and as long as it makes your heart sing, that is all that matters, because in the end, you're going to be the one rocking that bag, right? But again, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on the these bags. Let us know in the comments section down below. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.